Hey, welcome to another one of our videos. I've got Tammy with me. What are we going to make? Buffalo Ranch chicken sliders. Yeah, we made these uh, a while back. Uh, we were camping. camping. We loved them. We're doing them just a little bit different today. I'll cook the chicken, and then Tammy will show you how we uh, do all the rest and get these uh, sandwiches uh, made up. And hey, I want to thank the folks at Smart Row. They sent us out this barbecue digital thermometer, and they've sent us an extra one so that we can give one away to one of our viewers. Let's get this cook started. I've got nine chicken thighs here. I bought one of those packs. You can see I've removed the skin. And the reason is I'm going to be cooking at 250 degrees. And that skin is just going to be kind of uh, rubbery. And we don't want that when we pull this chicken. Now to start this seasoning, I'm going to use the armadillo pepper signature rub. If you don't have this one, no issue. Pick out your favorite barbecue rub. If you're one of those people that likes to make your own, great. Do that too. If you want to know more about this rub, I'll put a link up in the description box and what I'm going to do is do a double seasoning today now I've made this recipe a couple times before where I only use this rub but I've got another one I want to mix in with it so let me do the back side and then we'll be back season the back side up got them flipped back over now I'm going to come back in here with this pork king good dill pickle seasoning now real light on this um, I don't know if you've had you know dill pickle with chicken. I did a dill pickle uh, wing recipe. It was awesome. This is a brand new uh, uh, seasoning that uh, we got in the armadillo pepper store. So uh, we're going to give this a try today. And again, if you want to know more about this seasoning, I'll put a link in the video for it also. We got them seasoned up. Let's get over to the pit boss. Got her lid open. Now my pit boss, the fire cup's down here. So I want to put these chicken thighs away from the fire. We're smoking them here. Got this pellet grill set on 250 degrees. There we go, we got one more. And then I'm gonna get a temp probe in this guy. So let me just get this probe in here like so. And then I'm gonna actually use two probes today just to make sure in case it's cooking in a different temp in one spot we still have room yeah I shouldn't say still have room don't overcook something is what I was trying to say okay let me get that probe up like so get the lid down now for my thermometer system today I've got this smart row x50 this is extended range this is a remote this you're supposed to be able to monitor temperature up to 500 feet away here's my two temp probes here you can see one of them's at 84 one of them's at 85 the red and yellow channel of course, there's two more channels as well. I'm not using all four probes. Hey, I'm going to give one of these away today, thanks to the folks at Smart Row. I hope that shows up okay. What I'm doing is walking around my yard. Now look, it's not going to be 500 feet, right? There's 300 feet in a football field. My yard's not that big. But this uses the RF technology, not Bluetooth. That's why you get more range out of it. Uh, but at least where you know where I live, uh, I can walk around my entire yard and it keeps the keeps the temp for me so you know if i want i can mow my grass or do whatever and still keep an eye on this guy i did want to show you how i have this set up i have the both probes the alarm set for 162 162. you can see now we're running at 158 152 and what this says here this is custom custom means that you know i set that temperature there are presets right veal lamb uh, turkey, chicken, ham, etc. So you can use the preset. If you put this on chicken, then it'll set this for 165, which is the safe temperature. But I want to pull it up a couple of degrees uh, before it gets there because it will creep up a little. And then after we shred it, we'll cook it some more. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've got a brand new one of these Smart Row X50 barbecue digital thermometers to give away comes with a, actually this operator manual is pretty good you know sometimes you get these various products operator manuals aren't so good I was able to understand this one pretty well 
Again, I want to thank the folks. It's Smart Row. They, they sent me out the one that I'm using in the video today, and they sent me out this one to give away to you guys. Now, how do you win it? You have to leave a comment down below, and in that comment, you have to tell me what's the first thing that you would cook using this Smart Row if you want it. A week from when this video is published, I'll announce the winner. Additional details are down in the description box. You can see our alarm's going off. 164, uh, the chicken has gotten up to. I already turned off the audible. And you can see our main unit, same temp. So let me get this probe out. Get this probe out. All right. 163, depends on where you probe it. I'm gonna take this one off. It's been resting about 10 minutes. We are just going to shut it apart with our hands. because That's all you have to do. Yeah, you're just gonna shut it apart. How, how much, I mean, it depends on like how much you want shredded, like how big a piece is. Yeah. Thank you for having this skinless too, by the way. That's awesome. Yeah, now on that point, you could have cooked it with the skin and then peeled it off now, but then you'll lose, you know, that uh, top layer of rub. You have the back side, but you won't have the, the top. So this is all you're going to do, right? Just shred this up? I'm just going to shred this up. Well, I'm yeah. going to get the sauce going if it's okay while you're doing that. Yeah, you know, what I've got here, ranch dressing. Now, the last time she and I made this, we eyeballed everything. Um, this time, I'm actually going to measure it out. So how much is that? That is about... Almost a half a cup. No, this is a cup here. This is two thirds. Almost a cup. So yeah, it's about three quarters of a cup. If you had a new bottle, you could go ahead and put a cup in. I've got another bottle here just in case we need it. We'll, we'll check that out in a few minutes. Here I've got sweet baby rays. This is buffalo wing sauce. So I'm going to add about a half a cup. There we go, about. Next, what we have, Frank's Original Hot Sauce. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of that. So we're just under two cups total. So let me mix this up while she's continuing to work this chicken. We could actually mix it up in with the chicken and you don't have to mix it separately, but I do want to taste it. See if it's going to need something else. Last time we made it, oops, it wasn't real spicy. Ooh, really, really delicious. But I am going to add a little bit more, a little bit more yeah. of the Franks. All right, so a little over a half of the Franks. She's got all the chicken pulled. Huh? That's why I was going to head to get yeah, it Yeah, that would have been less noisy, but I think we're good. Let's see what else we need. Do we need to taste it again, or are we, you good? I think it's good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. So I've got some provolone cheese here that I've cut in half. I don't know for sure. I'm guessing we had four to five cups of chicken. Okay, you're getting pretty close, don't you think, or not? Now I am. Oh, now you are? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me set your chicken aside and hand you the slaw. You can tell folks what you're going to do there. Marie's coleslaw dressing. I'm not going to make it fresh today because it's going to matter all that much. And this was easier today. So I'm just going to pour this in. Mix it all up. I mean, obviously you can make it homemade with apple cider vinegar and mayonnaise and some a uh, little bit of mustard and Worcestershire sauce and sugar and it would be the same thing but salt and pepper but we're going to use this 
I can just like spray uh, like, a, like a layer of it, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get these slider buns back on here. I a half a stick of melted butter and I put about a quarter teaspoon of uh, dried ground garlic. All right? You can see I had more than, more than uh, enough left over. Uh, for this many, uh, you could do half that much butter. We're going to put them back on this pit boss. Let them go, I don't know for sure, 15, maybe 20 minutes. We just want this cheese to get good and melty. The chicken's already cooked. It's been 15 minutes. I hope you can see our cheese is good and melted. Our buns are just perfect. Spin that around. You see how our cheese is all nice and melted. Let's get these out of here. Oh, look at those beauties. They look awesome. There they are. They look so good. Like I'm super excited. Like I say, we made these uh, once before, what, mm -hmm. two or three months ago? Yep, camping. They were delicious. Yeah, these look super good. I'm going to cut these guys and try not to make a ginormous mess. Yeah, don't make a ginormous mess. Make a moderate mess. Make a moderate mess. <laughs> here's one for you. Oh, yay. And here's one for me. You ready? Yes, cheers. cheers. Oh, yum. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, super good. Mm. Oh. I taste the dill from that. That dill seasoning we put on. Oh, I taste that too. Mm. Got that great wing sauce, ranch flavor. It's not too hot. There is a little spice at the very, very back end. A little bit. It's yep. perfect. Perfect amount of spice. Now, if you don't like spice, cut back what we used on the Franks by half. And even if you don't like ranch dressing, you're going to like this because I'm not a ranch dressing person and mm. I love this. Definitely messy. Mm -hmm. And that slaw she put together gives it a really nice kind of crunch as you're uh, you know working it there in your mouth it's nice thanks so much for watching hey thank you for helping me with the recipe today oh well, thank you for cooking as usual if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button who knows we might make something that you could like sometime or let us know how you would make it different what would you think would make it better